With the 4th of July festivities happening soon, Pikeville Fire Department is offering everyone safety advice during the holiday. Aside from how to properly handle fireworks, there are other safety concerns not many people consider. Basic concepts such as cooking and managing open flames could turn hazardous if left unchecked. If you are going to be shooting fireworks yourself, we want to make sure that you follow all manufacturer's guidelines on that. Make sure if there's any minors or children that's going to be around the fireworks that you keep them in a safe location. Make sure that they, uh, they understand the rules that come along with fireworks and that they're not to be handled without an adult present. If you're going to be cooking, make sure that you, uh, with grill of safety, a lot of times that if we're not keeping an eye on our grill, um, it may get, uh, may get out of hand and cause a fire. So make sure that you're following all the rules with that and that we're keeping an extinguisher present. We're washing it and not letting it unattended. If you have a fire or anything at home, we want to make sure to, to keep that, keep an eye on that, not, uh, not build the fire up to where it would get out of hand as well. Cancer, it's a very scary word, but an outstanding treatment facility was here at home. I was led to the Lawson Cancer Center as a nurse practitioner at the Lawson Cancer Center, we are champions for our patients. I am so happy for Robert. The treatment worked. Make it the day, make it the day. For those traveling to see large-scale fireworks shows, there are other safety tips. Keeping yourself and others safe on the road is essential to having a good 4th of July celebration. Watch out for pedestrians that may be out on the roadways and things because we'll be traveling back at night, of course, after fireworks. There'll be a lot of, a lot of crowds out, so people may be crossing the roads. Keep in mind if you're traveling at night that we want to be extra cautious because there, there's going to be lots of people on the road and um, then maybe, you know, we don't want to be out being dangerous on the roadways. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.